What's going on, everybody? Welcome to What's the 411, where everybody's story matters. Uh, thank you guys so much for jumping on. I appreciate it. You know it's Monday. It's 8 o'clock, so you guys know what it is. We are coming to you live right here on the Instagram platform to share different stories, and it's, it's going to be great. It's going to be a great night. All right. Um, so of course, you know, what's the 411 is brought to you by BBL TV. So make sure that you guys check out BBL TV. It's Black Business Live TV, bringing our culture, community and commerce together on one screen. BBL TV is a space for us, by us to advertise, connect, share stories, news content. I mean, if you haven't checked out BBL TV yet, you're slipping. You need to get on that. Okay, guys, make sure you check them out. Also want to send a big shout out to one of our supporters, King Aqua. Okay. If you haven't gotten your alkaline water, you guys are like, what are you doing? You need to reach out to him. He's got the greatest alkaline water there is out here in the GTA. He delivers. Um, there's just so many benefits to drinking alkaline water. So you guys need to get on board. Okay. Get on board. I also want to send a big shout out to Malcolm's Choice, um, more than just an advertising agency. OK, Malcolm's Choice is goes above and beyond to make sure that we are staying connected in our black community, guys. So it's just like so many great people, so many great things. And you guys want to make sure that you are staying connected. OK, but of course, without further ado, we have a great show coming to. We're about to get the full one, guys. We are about to get the full scoop okay oh my gosh what happened to me oh. hey hey how are you i'm good how are you i'm good can you hear me okay can i me? can hear you love the doggy <laughs> what's up this is my dog sanaya okay she's, she's very very special to me i'm a bit nervous so that's why i kind of have her here with me <laughs> don't lie you're not nervous you're not nervous <laughs> <laughs> well, why don't you introduce yourself, let everybody know who you are and what you do. Okay, so my name is Tisha, and I'm the owner of Hidden Spark Photo Booth. Um, a little interesting thing about the name, our slogan is, we bring your smile out into the open. So um, whether that means a physical, if it's hidden by a physical mask, <laughs> or if it's hidden by an emotional mask, maybe you're just shy. I guarantee once you're in front of my camera, I will bring that smile out into the open. Hi, Auntie. I see my family up in here already <laughs> giving me that What's support. Up, family? <laughs> <laughs> yes. And you know what? You're you're actually really, really telling the truth by bringing the smile out because I remember when I met you at the event and I was just sitting there and I'm just, you're like, come on, go go to the photo booth. And I'm like, all right. And then I went there and I was just like, okay, this is so much fun. It's so addictive. <laughs> like even, I, I was just telling somebody who I was having a consult with that one of the most rewarding things is about overcoming objections when people come to the booth, whether it's they think they have to pay or I don't like the way I look or I don't like the way I pose, like when, or, or even if they've had like a negative experience with the photo booth in the past, they think it's about, you know, some creepy guy in the club talking about come you two girls get together. You know what I mean? <laughs> but when they come in front of the, the camera and they just see how amazing they look and, you know, then they bring their friends, their families, and then, you know, you're creating an experience right there on the spot. So I'm just glad that I can be um, part of a, a business that allows people to get together and really um, make some memories. Yes. And creating an experience. You are 100% right. Because when you look back at those photos, like when you had sent them back to me, like, and I checked my email and everything, I'm just like, Oh, my gosh, yes, yes. Definitely. So talk to us about the photo booth, let us know how it all works and all of that great stuff. Okay, so what I have is called an open air photo booth and it's driven by a DSLR camera. So there are some photo booths that only have like um, a tablet and then there are some that have the cameras and that's what's really giving you that high quality, really sharp image. Um, currently I offer um, digital and print packages and all of those are inclusive. So I'm not trying to 
kind of stack packages. Like when you book with me, you're getting your props, you're getting your backdrop, you're getting a custom template as well. Um, I currently offer eight backdrops now. I actually have two coming on the way on Wednesday that I'm really excited about a floral backdrop that will be so great for those spring weddings. So please hit me up. <laughs> and then yeah. um, kind of like a mirror boot effect um, that seems to be really popular. Um, as I mentioned, it's a uh, for all of my packages are four hours and that includes um, setup and tear down. And I also offer um, brand activation. So um, if uh, for corporate events, if you're launching a brand, um, if you'd like to have your logo right on the start page when people come to the booth, because it's all about repetition, right? You have to keep kind of like hammering things into people's heads in order for it to really stick. Um, and I also offer additional marketing tools. And that's what I'm really pushing right now with my clients. Like, it's not that I just show up and put on my lashes and I'm just there at the event just to take <laughs> pictures. Like when you hire me, especially as a, a corporate client, you're really getting an opportunity to um, gather information about your audience. So think about it just before, after the person takes their photo, um, say you, you ask them a question like, hey, are you following Hidden Smirk Photo Booth? Yes, no. And then it, the booth can take you to that um, Instagram and have the person, you know, like see your, see your Instagram and be able to create a following right then and there. So it's not just about photos, but it's about a whole lot more, especially on the corporate side. Yeah, for sure. And then, so how did you start this? When did it start and why did you start? So this is kind of a funny story. Like I'm sure last year, so I started the business, um, August, 2021, like many of us, I was suffering from insomnia from this lockdown and I was scrolling through Instagram at 3 a.m. And I just came across, you know, this opportunity for a turnkey business um, that I thought would work well, you know, possibly once things started open, opening up. What I was really unprepared for is just how successful the business has been and can be even in the middle of a pandemic. I mean, people still want to get together even though the events are a little bit smaller smaller just means more intimate it means more time to to converse and make connections and i'm really proud to say that at the end of the year i hadn't even really taken a lot of stock of you know how many events that i'd actually done and in four months we had done 30 events so just 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 for that in the middle of the pandemic and I'm just thinking about when things open up like you know if you extrapolate that to the year who knows where I can take it you know so that's how I, I love it and I do just want to say because for business owners it's very really really important I have an incredible mentor the person that I bought my my business from she's been amazing not only like helping us with leads but you know if I'm having a problem with the camera like right on site I give her a call she's so calm and I just hope that as I continue to gain experience in the business anybody that's coming after me then I can be able to impart that knowledge as well because there's nothing worse than being at a <laughs> wedding where everything's supposed to be perfect and your camera's not working so <laughs> oh gosh <laughs> It's all a learning experience. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. And you know what? I love to hear how people are starting their business during this pandemic and still being so super successful. Yeah. That's huge. Yeah. Wait, if, if you even have a time as a business owner to take a moment to, to think about what you've accomplished. And I, and I think that it's so timely that my interview is at the end of January because I was just speaking to a friend today and I'm saying it's the end of the month. Like let's celebrate our wins that we've had for, for the month, you know, because we're going into a new month, you know, it's, it's really easy just to get bogged down by, you know, the daily minutia of life, but it's the end of the month, end of January. We made it, guys. We're the survivors. <laughs> right? I know. Can you believe how quickly it came to? Like, too quick. Too well, quick. last year, it felt like there was like eight Mondays in January, right? Like, it was, it was, going, 
I remember seeing a meme that was going around about that. But this year, yeah. and I think it's because I've got so much on the go um, that things are moving a lot faster. And for me, being busy is really what's helping me cope with um, all of the changes that, that are coming down the pipe, you know, changes in my day job, changes, you know, with restrictions, changes with my family, you know, it's just just trying to keep perspective when when you feel like you're you're spread a little thin. <laughs> 100% and I think we could all relate to that in one sense or another because it's it's been it's been a whirlwind. It's been a whirlwind. Yeah. But, but somebody exciting. in the comments here is part of me. It's been exciting. It's been exciting. It definitely definitely exciting. Um somebody in the comments here is just mentioning working with Tisha is part of the hidden smirk uh photo booth experience. <laughs> she comes dressed for the theme. <laughs> Well, here's the thing, like, I can do it two ways, right? Like, I can just blend in. And, and the last event that I did, right, <laughs> I wanted to look like I was bringing the party. And my girlfriend was like, can't you just wear a t-shirt and jeans? Like, <laughs> no, no, I can't do that. Like, I have to come like I'm, I'm bringing the party because that's what I'm hired to do. I'm there to elevate the experience a wedding is already a monumental occasion i want to be able to add value anywhere i go and quite frankly being stuck in the house for three years yeah i'm gonna show out at my events like right like we've been we've been holding on to this gear these clothes you know all right? of the things we right? need to show up and show out like come Thank on you. now right let's go <laughs> Oh my gosh. Um, so talk to us about like the importance of taking pictures, you know, looking back, reflecting on those memories. Talk to us about it. Yeah, well, I, um, hi, JC, my coworkers online. <laughs> <laughs> well, as I mentioned, you know, um, even in my personal life, having experiences is really important to me. And I think that uh, what I've allowed myself to be exposed to over uh, the course of my life, like I lived in Florida for 10 years, like, you know, like, I, I try to impart that on my children as well. And I think that that's what I bring whenever I'm hired to do a job, I try to bring an experience, I want people to leave saying, hey, did you try the photo booth? Or when you when people come to the photo booth at a wedding, for example, I want them to go back to the table and be like, girl, look at how good I look in this photo. So I, I think also, um, for everyone, whether we've uh, been personally affected by COVID by like losing a loved one, or, you know, just um, the weight of isolation, I think uh, capturing moments um, on film is even more important than before, you know? And that's why I say when I see somebody kind of like hovering around the booth and they don't wanna, they don't wanna take a picture, that's why I encourage them, you know? Because it's like, you just never know. And I'm telling you, the camera makes you look amazing and you're going to remember this. And I told you not to give me a mic because I can just, I can just keep doing it. There are people that come back to me and they say, you know, my photo is on or my photo is on my fridge or the photo that you took is on my fridge. I'm so glad that you were at Paloma's birthday party and you just like turned it up a million notches. Like everybody loves to look back on a good time in their lives. And I think that these days it's so few and far between. So 100%, 100%. And I noticed that too, as soon as one person went up to take their picture, they went yeah. back, all of a sudden, there was a huge lineup. Line and up. I remember even at the end of the night, you were like, okay, it's time to wrap it up. And people were like, No, I need one more picture. Exactly. Just wait, I need to get in there. <laughs> <laughs> that's why that's why when I first started, I tried so many different things. I tried doing like per hour, I tried doing a three hour um, package. And then I just settled on four hours because when I get there, I usually try to be very prepared. And typically, so Sam's supposed to start a job at three, and I get there at two. If I'm set up by 230, you know, then that's just extra time for the client, you know, like, and then I don't feel so bad at the end of the night when I do stay a little extra, or like, you know, right at the time, right? And me, like, I, I love getting behind the in front of the camera, too. I'll get up in there with the with the guests, like, you've seen the photos. I'm always I'm like puppy, you know, when they're like all up in the video, that's me, like just <laughs> there 
having fun <laughs> with the clients as well. So, you know, it's, it's, um, I don't know. It's what I do. <laughs> it's good. It's good. No, you have the full energy for it. It's perfect. It suits you really well. And you bring this type of energy that makes people want to engage in the photo booth. Yeah. And then you're just it, like, it's just, it's a whole thing. So it's good. you got the vibe. Thank you. Like, like, puffy. <laughs> like puffy. They like that one, right? All up in the video. Yep. That's, yep. <laughs> yep. that's actually mm -hmm. one of the Sanaya's dog friends, uh, another dog mom that's joined us. So <laughs> I've got the whole dog community supporting me. I've got my family supporting me. I've got my IG family. And I just want to thank everybody for, for, for joining in and hearing about Hidden Smirk. Yep, need that support. Support is awesome. So thank you guys, yes, also for joining. Um, but talk to us about what sets Hidden Smirk aside from any other photo booth. Like, why do we need Tisha? Why we need Tisha? Okay, well, um, I do get a lot of positive feedback after my events. And I, you know what? I'm not even going to say it. You just said it for me. I bring a certain energy and vibe you know, whether it's during a consult, when I'm talking about my business, and then leading up, and then, you know, I come prepared. I use a, a software that I think all business owners should invest in call <laughs> Tisha, <laughs> that calls HoneyBook. And what that really does, it really gives a sense of professionalism when people um, have an inquiry. Um, immediately, you'll get a brochure from me. Um, highlighting what the options are for a backdrop, how many poses you want, um, the different kind of design for the template, and then, um, you know, whether you want digital or, or prints. So it's very, very streamlined in terms of booking with me. And I think that's one of the things that sets me apart. Um, again, all my packages are all inclusive. I'm not charging you for extra for props or, you know, for different backdrops. I will say that the things that I do charge additional for um, is if my time goes over an hour or if, um, you know, there are props that I don't have in stock that you want custom made, I, I do charge for that. And I also charge for idle time, which is, for example, say you're having a, an event and you want me to start, you know, taking photos for the first hour and then say there's like speeches, dinner, and there's a break that's considered idle time. So I have to charge extra for that. So, you know, most everything is included in the actual experience. There's just a few things that I charge extra for. Okay, okay. And somebody mentioned in the comments, to know Tisha is to love her. <laughs> and that is just, yo, <laughs> the comments are lit tonight. You know what? I, People in the I, comments, I invested, girl. I invested in those comments. I paid heavily. I'm kidding. I didn't pay anybody, but thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, man. That's good. You have your people in here, and they're all like, I'm so proud of her. Keep grinding, fam. You know? <laughs> Keep going, girl. Keep going. Um, so, talk to us about your why. So, my why is. Uh, so everyone knows I have a 10 year old son and if he's going to be anything like me, kind of like out being social and, you know, being out there, being around people, loving to party, um, in a few <laughs> years, he's going to be asking me to go out. And what I'd really like is to be able for him to be able to take the booth. Like, it's fine if you want to go party, but make some coin on the side, right? Like, and that's what I'm doing. I'm there, I'm listening to some awesome DJs, I'm dancing, I'm having a great time, but I'm also, you know, running a business. And that's something that I'd like to impart on my son. And he sees me, you know, I was a single mom for a really long time. And, you know, he's really seen me grind. <laughs> and now that um, I, I, I have support in my life now, you know, he's starting to really see the full extent of what I'm capable of, you know, like I can have a full time job, and I can run this business and I can raise you. So you know, like, I, it's all about generational wealth. <laughs> And um, being able to show him that, do you mind? Yes, agree. <laughs> like, yes, yes, yes. Being moms. able to show him that you can do something you're passionate about. Okay. Yeah, it, it's definitely important. And you mentioned, you know, being a mom, it's important for our kids to see, you know, how amazing it is to, you know, own a business and do your thing. 
but also as a black woman in business. It's super important as well. So talk to us about the importance of not only supporting other black females in the community, but being a boss black woman in the community doing your thing. Well, let me just adjust my screen so you can see the full, the full extent. So yeah. pretty much everything that I have on is uh, from a, a, a female-owned Black business. So my head wrap is from a pure house. My eyelashes are from Bang Bang Lashes. My makeup bang, bang. is from, yeah, but you see, you know Bang Bang. <laughs> my makeup is from Juvia's Place, um, brought to you by Faces by Luna. Luna. Ah. And um, my t-shirt is from We Craft Toronto. My nails are done by the fabulous Miss Tia from Queen Majesty Nails. Even the deodorant I have on <laughs> is from a woman-owned um, company, Better Better butter for your body so just having this business has connected me with so many amazing strong just incredible women and every time I, I go to an event I, I meet another one I met you through um, Sam on the Platte through um, yeah. the uh, global Black Marriage Bureau. So yes, uh, sisterhood is very important. I just did a, a post on that. Supporting women is important. But to be honest, like I'll support any business that's really like putting in the work, you know, because now I really appreciate what it takes to really get eyes on your business, you know? So I, I do think that community is important, supporting women and supporting women in business. Yes, Carmen, you Definitely. too. You too. She's my she's my photographer for my family. So <laughs> I see you. <laughs> Man, no, it's it's definitely important, and it's as somebody mentioned in the in the chat, it's it's loyalty. We got to be loyal to each other, man, and support each other because it's it's super super important, man. So big up yourself on that. You're not only a boss businesswoman, but you're supporting <laughs> others. As well. And I'll continue to support. Oh, one thing I really did want to mention that uh, that I love being involved in is the pop up shots. It's something, and for those that don't know, like pop-up shops is, is becoming something really big in, in our communities, especially where small business owners get together, they rent out a space, and you can come and see and look at the product and buy the product. And I've approached, you know, um, people that, that create pop-up shops to present myself as, as somebody that, again, not only can come and um, kind of commemorate the event, but also help small business owners who maybe don't even have professional photos of their product or service or whatever it is that they do. So at the beginning of a pop-up, I immediately go around to all the vendors. I introduce myself. Hey, Tisha, Hidden Sports Moto Booth. There's, you know, there's my booth. Come and take a photo, like, with your product. And I've met so many people that way. So I just want to, uh, I know that you're going to ask me about shout outs, but I really just want to say that I appreciate anyone in the pop-up space that is giving a platform to small business owners and just allowing them to get their product out there. I'm so proud of you. And I just want you to continue doing that. So important. And you, you said it. I mean, pop-ups right now in our community are huge. They're big. Like, we're out here doing our thing. Everybody's got the opportunity to showcase their products and services. And it's important for us to see what's out there because there's a lot of greatness out there. A lot. Right? Yeah. Yes. Um, so talk to us about maintaining a good balance. You are out here. You're doing the thing. You're working. You got the kids at home. You got the husband. Like, balance. <laughs> like, talk to us. <laughs> Give us the keys. Yeah, definitely. So I do have quite a few tools in my belt. Number one, like, I um, self-care is a priority for me. So going to the spa, utilizing my benefits, getting massages, going to the chiropractor, like, fixing this body, like, just <laughs> because I need it to, to keep me going, right? And again, th these are things that I'm modeling for my children so that when they get to a certain age, they know that they don't have to necessarily just live with pain. They can do things to kind of help, help their bodies get to where they need to be. Um, another thing that I'm really proud of is I've restarted my yoga practice. I used to have a really intense practice when I went like, back in like 2014, 15, 16. 17, 18. And then <laughs> I had an accident that um, I, where, well, I got hit, well, 
I had an accident where I had to stop doing it for a while, but I'm really proud to say like the last two months I've restarted my yoga practice and that has been really monumental in, you know, just like peace of mind, helping me sleep better, you know, because sleep is really paramount when you're when you're doing so many things at a time. And of course, um, talking to my family and spending time with my very cute dog and growing her Instagram following as well. She does have an account I as well. I know, like I just started following the dog. Like I was just like, okay, all right, I need to click follow here. Hi, Elise. Yeah. <laughs> so you're a part of big of a big dog um, community. Yeah, so I, I got Sanaya last year, and uh, she was a COVID dog. And I will say that, okay, so her account is at like 2,600 followers right now. And everything that I did that was successful in terms of social media, I've applied to Hidden Spurt, whether that be, you know, consistent posting, making sure that my feed is filled with other photo booth um, companies as well. So I can keep up with what's going on, what's trending, and they can what I'm doing and I think that having that experience has really helped up my social media game so you just never know where your skill set is going to come from right and mine just happened to come from you know growing my my dog's account yes you do have many many skills when it comes to social media and all of that other stuff give us some tips for any business owners out there talk to us about some other little things, some hints that we could use to help ourselves when it comes to... Well, no, number one with social media, it's about consistency, I think. You know, I post at I post twice a day, um, and what's really been a game changer for me is um, using Canva and utilizing the content planner tool. Um, so when you see me posting, uh, and when I was doing Sanaya's account, I was literally doing it in real time. And yeah, when you're on lockdown and you don't have to go to work, sure you have time, but now things are a little bit more normal. Like I take some time, I plan my content, content for the month and then I kind of just let it rule on its own and then if I happen to think of something organically then yeah like I'll go ahead and post it so that's when you'll see a reel or something like that because you know it's something that I've just kind of thought of on the fly so that would be my my two big things consistency well three big things consistency automation and make sure that your feed is is full of the industry that you're in so that you can stay connected to your Mm. wonderful tips wonderful tips um so talk to us about what's coming up for um hidden smirk you guys you know it's like we're really literally jumping into wedding season right like it's coming yeah. it's right there <laughs> yeah so i i did uh, speak about the new floral backdrop that we have uh, going going up um coming on wednesday so i'm really excited about that I'm really excited to be collaborating with some great artists and um, business owners. I mentioned um, Queen Majesty Nails. We're doing a co collaboration with a couple of their business owners. And it's kind of like, almost like a smarter system. So it's like, I have the camera, they have the makeup, the nails, you know, I need people to, you know, give me more content for the feed. So that's something I'm really excited about. I also have a partnership with like DJ Elegance. He's a wonderful DJ in the Toronto area. He's great on the ones and twos, and I'm really looking forward to working with him more. And um, most importantly, something that I'm looking forward to before the end of the year is that I am starting my own line of props. So whether it's, um, you know, downloading the, the, the props for your own use or actually having physical props that other business owners um, want to buy from me, that's something that's in the works this year. In addition, getting another booth, that would be fantastic. So, you know, a few things coming down the pike that, that I'm really, really um, looking forward to for the end of the year. I love the prop idea. That is so cool. Yeah, because the props are something that makes the picture as well. It makes mm -hmm. it really special, you know? Yeah, definitely. So where do you come up with the props right now? Do you have your own props that you just make? Yeah, sometimes we just make our own props. I, I do buy props as well. 
but I'm just starting to get to the point. It's like, I can do this myself. And if I bring the same kind of energy to this as I do to the photo booth, then, then definitely I think it's going to be a success. And as I mentioned, it's a way for me to meet other photo uh, booth operators as well, right? And continue to impart anything that I've learned over the years and just continue to network and continue meeting people. And of course, tomorrow marks Black History Month. It's like yep. right there. Yep. Um, do you have any plans for Black History Month? Well, not right now. Um, I am booked around Valentine's Day, but last year for Black History Month, um, I dressed up Sanaya, my dog, <laughs> in every day for Black History Month in um, different different outfits. So, you know, we did Monta Musa, we did uh, Rosa Parks, you know, so it was, it was, again, it was a great way to um, teach the kids about Black History, and who knows, you know, we could pull the booth out on a Wednesday and and do something something kind of theme. So who knows? You guys gotta stay tuned. <laughs> she's she's got stay tuned, guys, because you never know, right? Never know. Um, and then how do we book? Like, if we wanted to book with you, where's the best place to get in touch with you? Um, so my website is www.innsmirt.com. At the bottom, you'll find an inquiry form where you have to put in a few pieces of information. I'll give you a call right back so that we can set the time to talk about your event. And as I mentioned, kind of get you the kind of book can kind of do its thing, send you brochures, et cetera, et cetera. I also have an inquiry form in my bio, in my Instagram, um, that you can click as well. And you can also just send me a DM, like, my, my DMs are open <laughs> for business, and um, uh, and <laughs> my, my DMs are open, and I get a lot of business that way. So yes, I'm, I'm very approachable, and um, definitely looking forward to working with individuals, companies, you know, brides. This is the time. Awesome, awesome stuff. And then, of course, I mean, I guess we can send you a DM, but is there any other way that we can stay in touch with you? Um, what do you mean? Like, I do this <laughs> stay connected. I mean, I guess we can add the dog's account. What's a dog's account for anybody who hasn't added her? <laughs> her account is underscore sweet Sanaya underscore. Um, I'll... I'll just check my story. She's there on a daily, just <laughs> having the time of her life. This dog is the most pampered on the oh face of the planet. <laughs> She's only just one. You said you got her last year, right? Yeah, I got her um, last October. I bought her from a, a student that couldn't take care of her anymore. And it's funny because she still comes to my house. Like, once a quarter, Daisy will be here. Like, <laughs> I'm here to see the dog. <laughs> but she's okay. <laughs> but I think that kind of speaks to the connections that I make, right? You know, I could have just bought her and, and we never speak again. But I understand it was something she didn't really want to give up the dog. So, you know, why, why not? And she's become a friend, so... Nice. And how old is the dog? Uh, she is a year and a half now. <laughs> oh, so she was she was just born pretty much when you bought her. Yeah, she was four months, and she actually loves the camera too. We recently did a photo shoot uh, for Christmas, and uh, she's right there in the middle with us. We don't leave her out even when it comes to the food. So, um, you know, I'm working really, really hard to ensure that the product that I'm giving my clients is, is top notch and I do that by taking the equipment out at home, testing it. You know, I came up well, I offer a, a Kardashian kind of black and white filter now, you know, that's something that you really need to be able to know your camera and adjust your settings in order to get like, you know, the perfect picture. So that's something that me and my family do here and I'm really just so thankful that, you know, I have a partner that, you know, will step in at the drop of the dime. I've got kids that want to model for me. I've got dogs that want to model for me. I'm truly blessed to not only feel like I'm walking in my purpose with this business, but that I have people that are proud of me and are cheering me on. Like, you know, it, it, it could it could go it could go so so many different ways. I hear so many stories about business owners that don't feel like they have that support. Um, but my circle is 
it's so solid. So <laughs> you see it in the chat. These guys are like, nope, we team Tisha, team Tisha. <laughs> so that's good. No, that's awesome. It's it's great. Everybody is really proud of you, and it's important too, um, you know, to see this this connection um, and this support because support is super important in being able to be successful when it comes to being a business owner. You know what I mean? Yeah. So what advice would you have for anybody out there that is like thinking about starting their business, but they're just not sure. They're kind of like on the cusp. Should I do it? What should I do? Is that kind of like your entrepreneurship question? Like, <laughs> like if, if it's important to me, like I think entrepreneurship is very important. Um, I think that there are entrepreneurs that are born and then there are entrepreneurs that are made. And I happen to fall in the latter category because, you know, this is my first official business um, that I'm starting kind of like later in life. And I really have to attribute a lot of my skill set to the 20 years that I spent in corporate, right? So I spent a lot of time figuring out how to make money for other people. And um, now that I'm really comfortable in that skill set, I'm able to kind of overlay those skills into a business that fits my lifestyle. So I'm sure that everyone's heard it before, you know, do something you're passionate about and you'll never work a day in your life. And I kind of really just kind of wrote that off. But now I'm doing what I love. I love going to events. I love dressing up. I love taking pictures. So it does, it never feels like work, you know? So um, I do think that if you have an idea that really resonates with you and aligns with your passions, that you owe it to yourself. If you're not going to take the leap to just do the business, at least, you know, spend some time with somebody in the industry that can really give you the skinny on the ins and outs of, of the, you know, what can be difficult about it and what can be rewarding about it as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. And then when you like come across any hurdles or any obstacles, how do you persevere? How do you keep it moving? Oh my gosh, I talk my partner's ear off. Like, <laughs> I'm really just <laughs> letting him know, like, what's, what's, what's going on. And again, having that support system. The other thing that I was going to say, and this kind of ties into the motivational quote that you ask at the end of um, your, your kind of podcast, is um, I live by a philosophy that says, accept the present moment. So, and the rest of that, that thing is accept the present moment as if you had chosen it. So, you know, anxiety, like, usually comes from uncertainty, right? And that happens when you're, like, you're not sure of yourself, when, you know, when something unexpected happens. So, you know, if the camera's not working or if the lights aren't working, I really just have to say to myself, I'm accepting this moment because this is an opportunity to learn. So let me go through my <laughs> my catalog of what I already know. If I've exhausted that, let me call my mentor. And I just kind of put myself into a mindset that this is something that I'm going with the flow. And I just find that when I take that attitude, whatever it is in life, just accepting what's coming to me and kind of doing maneuvering within those, those, um, those variables, then that anxiety kind of goes away because I'm, I'm, I'm moving with the flow of the universe in a way. I hope that makes sense. It makes perfect sense. And that is great advice. Like, honestly, because the more you complain about things, the more they stick around, right? Yeah. You're just accepting what it is for what it is. And just it, things go a lot smoother when you do that. Yeah, you know? for sure. 100%. So thank you for that. Thank you for the um, <laughs> Do you have any shout outs? Anybody you want to send a shout out to? Yeah, I want to shout out uh, Mr. Kirk Morris, the captain of my ship over there, just working hard, listening to me then. Shout out my family, my kids. I also want to send a big shout out to One Milk, Two Sugars. They're a PR agency in Toronto. They gave me my, literally like my second job was a corporate um, job doing a, a brand launch for Miley Bobby Brown's um, Florence by Milk skincare campaign. 
and I really hope to do more work with them in the future. But you know, I'm just so thankful that they took a chance on me and um, allowed me to be part of something, you know, that huge with my my very little experience. So <laughs> I just want to send a shout out, and they're looking for a PR exec. So if you know anyone uh, in PR, they love great energy. They're a dog kind of corporate family. Please hit them up. One milk, two sugar. I love that name. One milk, two sugar. <laughs> awesome. 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 Okay. So anybody else you want to shout out? That's it. I think I, I gave a pretty long list. All of the business owners. I want to shout you out for actually giving me this platform. I'm so excited to work with you on other projects this year. And I, I really, I really think that what you're doing here is so important. Like, Without you, I would not have this opportunity just to talk about something that I love so much and I tell people about you all the time. I was just telling my cousin, who a nail tech, that she needs to get in contact with you. She's not ready yet, but it's, it's coming to come. It's coming to come. Yeah. 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 <laughs> It's, it honestly is an honor to have you here. I love your energy. As soon as we met, we started talking right away and you're vibing and you're just, you know, you got that good energy. So love it. Um, and I knew I was like right away. I'm like, I definitely have to have you on the show. <laughs> Thank you. It's oh, hey, there's tomorrow now. We're just talking about you. Hey, hey. <laughs> you must have heard us talking about you, you know? Yep, yep. <laughs> Yes. So of course, um, I have to ask if you have like a motivational or of course the inspirational quote that you go by, or was that the, um, the one that you already gave us? Yeah. The, the accept the present moment as if you have yeah. chosen it. It's really, it's helped me get through some really dark times <laughs> and it continues to, it continues to uh, be something that I lean on. And again, like something that I impress upon my children so that they can kind of deal with their disappointments in a way that's healthy. Um, that along with the other tools that I talked about, you know, the yoga, the meditation, the stepping away, you know, self care, you know, with the, it's a, it's to get through this life you need a lot of tools so <laughs> right yeah endless endless um all right well i just want to thank you for coming through i appreciate you um definitely and we are going to be working on some projects this is just only the beginning of oh. what we have going on so i'm excited about it too <laughs> i can't wait to get you in front of my camera again telling you this time I'm going to be more prepared the last time I was just like oh, you know but you, I need to really get out there get them props you know do my thing next time amazing. I just posted you like last week and that photo like I kept zooming in it never got blurry it's just amazing so you're a natural you are a natural beautiful let's make it happen all right girl anytime I'm ready Okay. I'm ready for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you take care. Have a good one. And we'll definitely, we'll be in touch. Okay. All right. Bye, Bye everyone. Have a good day. Get in the Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. All right, guys. So that was Tisha. And if you guys don't know, she is out here okay she's definitely out here doing her thing and you have to get in touch with her she's got the photo booth she's got the props she's got that energy that you just need at your party you need to have her okay so make sure you guys go and hit her up um she as she told you she does so many different packages she'll custom package whatever it is that you are looking for for your your particular party or whatever event that you're having and it's just you just need to have her there. You just, you, you definitely need to have her there. Um, she's going to be one of the individuals that is going to be participating in our um, Black Love in the Six series. So I cannot wait. Right now, we just started filming and the first day of filming was phenomenal. Okay, phenomenal. So really, really excited about it. If you guys are interested in participating, make sure you reach out. Let me know. What else? I wanted to send a big shout out to Samara as well, because you guys know Global Blacks is opening up in the Oshawa Center on Monday. OK, so make sure that you hit it up, hit up the store. There's going to be so many phenomenal things in that store. 
that you just you you, you definitely want to make sure that you're heading in there. Um, and of course, everything is black owned. We've got some powerhouse individuals, companies, corporations, business owners, entrepreneurs that are going to be putting their products and services inside of that establishment. And we want, we're all there for it. So make sure that you guys head over to the Oshawa Center and support what she's got going on. Um, there's just so much things happening in our city right now. It's a great time to be alive. It's a great time to be a part of this community. So make sure that you guys are engaging with our community, supporting our community. And yeah, it's just, come on, life is to be lived. You know what I mean? Tomorrow is February 1st. All right. That's the start of Black History Month. So um, there's lots for us to, to think and reflect on. Um, there's lots more to think and reflect on than the negative things. So make sure that we're thinking about all of the um, creations, all of the inventions, all of the greatness that we have within ourselves. All right. So there's so many different, like, but as soon as you walk outside, like we're just hit in every corner, even in your house, things that you're looking at, there's so many different inventions that were created by a black person. Okay. So the creations have not start stopped. The, the inventions have not stopped. We are super innovative. We are creating things all the time. We are thinking on how we can, like how we can change things. Like we are the game guys. We are the bag. So just make sure that you capture that within yourselves and put that out there because we need it. We need to see it. All right. So I just want to thank you guys for jumping on. I appreciate it. It's our last Jan our last Monday in January. I do have a special interview coming up on Wednesday. All right. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. It's another special edition of What's the 411. Um, and then we're moving into February. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a sick month. It's like just make sure you guys, if you guys check your vision board, because it's probably half already you've accomplished what you put out there for the like just energy i'm telling you it's just it's there it's there i'm excited about it all right guys so yeah tomorrow is another month make sure that you are excelling in everything that you do make sure that you are creating a list on what you would like to have and create that vision board right girl create that vision board put all of the things out on that vision board that you want to see for yourself and make it happen make it happen and as tisha said consistency is key all right. All right. So um, that's it. This is what's the 411. Thank you guys so much for joining us. And we will see you on Wednesday. Okay. All right.